Hi everyone. So in the last video, if you remember, we blocked in the sheep and the sky and the distant hills. And now I have mixed up my Silurian blue with some yellow ochre to create a nice neutral green colour, which I'm going to use to block in the field. Now you can see that on my brush, I haven't fully mixed the colour. I've got you know, mostly yellow ochre there and then mostly green on the other side. So if I apply the brush this way, I get the green colour applied, but just by flipping the brush, I get the yellow ochre coming through. And that's absolutely fine because if you look at a field, yeah, you know, we normally think of grass as being green, and of course it is, but there are many, many other colours uh, in a field of grass, including browns and yellows. I've just added a little bit of cadmium red to just vary the, the hue a little bit there. So it's always a good idea to vary the colour and tone of the thing you're just blocking in, especially if you're describing plant life or some kind of plant life. But that, that rule will apply when I am describing the wool on the sheep as well, because obviously the colour of the wool will vary and the way the light is interacting with that wool, reflecting off of it, the shadows cast, they will all have a certain amount of colour and variation of colour within them. So I'm not being too concerned about going over some of the lines I've used to describe the sheep because I'm going to redefine and refine everything in the later stages of the painting. Ooh, that's come out very red, but let's stick with that for the moment because when I paint over that in green later on, that red will be a nice warm underlayer. And that, some of that will show through, so we'll stick with that for the moment. But as the, the red is running out of my brush, you can see the color is becoming more golden brown. The main thing we want to do is just kill most of the white on the page. There we go. So now we have filled in the grass middle region of the painting. So that's that stage complete. In the next video, what I'm going to do is introduce some clouds and more colours to the sky. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions at all, any queries, please feel free to ask me in the comments. Thanks very much for watching.